about the ESAs and um, so you know I've pulled my child out before my youngest had pulled him out for private school for two years I would have loved to have had that seventy five hundred dollars or whatever the, the amount is um, but I know that our my private school it was um, ten thousand dollars and there's some that are eighteen twenty thousand dollars in Dallas I don't know any of them that are nine thousand dollars or even eight that was quoted earlier so how do you make up the difference if you are a family in poverty so that's not really a choice for them um, I, I you know I agree with Senator Garcia and Senator Huffines I mean I, I'm on both sides of this I I struggle with it too I, I may need the option well what I'm saying is no I, I just agree I think you are right about <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I know, but I might need the option to get out. I mean, I have all three kids in, in public you school. Alarm, I can do that again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so anyway, it, I mean, I'm just I'm concerned about the the families that can't afford to make up the difference. I don't understand how it fixes the problem. I want to fix the real problem, which is why we're having to bail on the public school. Um, and I, I want to pay the teachers so we can attract the best. I want to fix it, like what Tammy said. I think she's right. She's right on. Um, and then the last thing was I, I want there to be evidence-based, time-tested curriculum. I want a choice of the curriculum, and that's what I'm finding. That's why we're, you know, you've gotten out and, and why I had to pull my youngest out. He wasn't getting what he needed. And um, so, anyway, I think that's pretty much it. Two um, times up. Let yeah. me just ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Do you believe in competition? What does competition do for everybody involved? Uh, you know, I don't with the public school. I believe that we need to have the freedom to choose to go to a private school if you don't want to go to the public school. Uh, I think we need options. I think they all have um, their merits. But I believe in the tenth. What grocery store do you like? What? What grocery store do you like? I go to about five different ones. <laughs> Why do you go to five different ones? Because they don't all give me what I need. Okay, so yeah. if you just had one. I told you, you I'm in agreement. I mean, I, I might be able. Yeah. I'm just I, trying to. I know, but we got to fix the public schools. The idea and, and of improving education. Sometimes competition is the best thing. Mm -hmm. Our Olympic athletes wouldn't be what our Olympic athletes were if they hadn't had a lot of stiff competition going up through the system. It, I don't think it, it works that way in the public school, though. To, to work. Why? It's the same. It's, it's, it's across our whole country. Competition. Look at your phone. You know, if AT&T was still the only game in town, you know what you'd have? A landline. Or you'd have that car, that, what do we call that, bag phone with a car battery in it and had about 20 minute talk time? Because that's all you need, right? Who needs to talk more than 20 minutes a day? Well, I'll say we're getting about 100 uh, refugees this week at my high school. We're, we're full. We don't have any room for them. But but they're coming. We have to educate them, right? Absolutely. So, so we're, you know, when you have everyone bailing on the public schools, who's well, left behind? But that, that's what I'm saying, though. And I'll try to express this earlier. I'll be quick. We're not bailing on the public, the traditional public schools. We want them all to do better. But I'm telling you, we've already seen it with some of the charter schools. They've come in. And it's awakened the public school that maybe they're being complacent isn't good enough. And they've upped their game. And now we're seeing charter schools and some public schools actually working together, which is the benefit of all the students, which is the bottom line. Yeah. I don't really, at the end of the day, I hate to say it, but I want the student to be educated. I don't know where, I don't even care where they get it. If I get it done cheaply from the state level, wherever, and it's a better education, that's what I but want. But you know, you go to a charter school, you're still going to have Common Core. You're still going to have the influence. It's oh, yeah. Look at the Google. All right, we're, we're changing the topic. Yeah, I know. You're going back to Common Core. Yeah. Let's yeah. stay on top because this really gets But late. I do agree with we're the approaching, sides of it. Let me do the math real quick. Uh, almost 10 hours. Um, gosh, is that really right? It, 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 yeah. Okay. But anyway, I, I just want to, just, no one is trying to tear anything down. And I, I, I think one of the best quotes of the set earlier today, this is not a winner-take-all competition. This is not where one, whoever wins gets everything. It's about providing additional opportunities for every student to meet their particular needs. And sometimes just by upping the competition a little bit, I go to H-E-B in Friendswood, little old Friendswood. We have sushi in H-E-B. Do you think H-E-B would have sushi if it weren't for competition? Why? Why would they go to the extra trouble getting stuff in from anywhere else if there was no competition? But they're driving this, and we're all benefiting from the the, the, the competition has driven these things, the heights that no one ever dreamed of. It's because time for competition. Meg to talk. <laughs> Pardon?
No, okay, I, I just, no, no, I know. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. And, and this is not about winner take all. We're not trying to take down public schools. We're trying to find, we're, we're doing a lot of things. I'm trying to help public schools with innovation zones. They've all talked about the regulations we have them under. I'm trying to get them out, out from under but some of those regulations. Such a, it's and a I'm only doing it for schools that are performing well. Not every school. If you're not doing the job, I'm not letting you out of anything. Until you, <clears> until we can get that up to, to speed, then I want to give you the freedom to do that. But if you're not getting it done, we have to take measures to help with that. We've sped up the process. We've talked about the improvement required schools. You know, we had to fight this. It used to take six or seven years before the state could step they're in. They're not all failing schools, though, like oh, you said. Are, I, no, they're, far, they're just they're drill not. and kill schools. They become star obsessed schools. That, there's, there's, the well, teachers are working just well, as hard. My point is, we moved it to two or three years. Yeah. And we had to fight to do that. Who wants to leave a kid in a failing school for six years? But the before definition of failing, it's an invalid assessment. It is an invalid assessment. I'm getting assessment. off topic. It's getting so late, I'm just starting to ramble. You don't need to give me any more floor time. Go, man. Thank you, though.